Hello everybody, I'm the CEO and co-founder at Cloud Sigma. And in a short video, I'm going to show you how you can securely share cloud resources uh, between uh, your co-workers. So you can see here I'm at the web app. I'm just going to log in. And once we've logged in, we'll start setting up what we call ACLs. So you can see here on the left, there is a um, tab called, uh, or a section called ACLs. That stands for Access Control Lists. And uh, under ACLs, uh, you can define what resources you'd like to share and then with who you'd like to share them. And then of course, what they can do, which is very important. So you actually have granular control over that. It's not as blanket, somebody has access to your account. You can actually define the resources and the actions they can take against those resources. And you can vary that over time. And when you edit a, a an ACL, um, or a tag, which I'll come to, uh, the, the changes are basically live, so that, that'll take immediate effect. So the first thing to understand about access control lists uh, is that they work uh, using something called tags. So the idea is that you can share your, so you tag your resources, and that can be servers, drives, networking resources with tags. And you can have many tags, and you can be one to many. So you could have a server that could be tagged Project X and database. And then you can have policies against database servers or servers tagged with database and servers tagged with project tags. So it's a very flexible system. Uh, you can think of tags something like Google labels uh, or Gmail labels, uh, which you might have used if you've ever used the Gmail email system. So what we need to do um, to show you this uh, ACL is firstly go in, we're going to tag some resources, and then I'm going to show you how to build a policy that uses that tag. So let's just create a tag for the purposes of this video. And I'm going to call it a database. That's an easy example to explain. And we can actually go in and give it a give it a color, whatever we prefer. Let's go for blue, a light blue. There we go. And that's ready. And you'll see at the moment there are actually no resources associated with that uh, tag because we haven't tagged anything yet. Now I can go in and decide which resources I want to tag and share. So um, I said there's database server. So let's take these two servers here. Uh, MongoDB server and you've got a, a Microsoft SQL server, uh, one of which is running, one of which isn't, and that's fine. You can tag resources that are running and uh, shut down. And we can go in and just uh, create, we could, could have created the tag from here, but we've already done it, so let's just tag that database. And that's ready. So now we can go and create our ACL. So we can decide how we're going to share those two database servers with a colleague. So let's go to the ACLs now and create a new ACL. So the first thing we can do is give it a name. So let's call it uh, database admin, database admin. Okay, and then we can decide what, um, what level of permissions we want to give. Now we could give something like read-only permission, which would just be the list functionality. Um, and we might want to do that for someone junior who may be monitoring the infrastructure and not really engaging with it uh, directly. But in this case, uh, database admin, we would expect them to be able to do things like start and stop servers, maybe edit the configuration, etc. cetera. Um, so in that case, we're gonna give them editing rights. We're also gonna allow them to start and stop the server and let's allow them to um, open a VNC connection, which is also useful sometimes for debugging after a system crash. Um, but for the purposes of this demo, let's assume that we don't want them to be able to clone or attach additional drives or network, which may have security implications for data, things like that. So they're basically managing just existing infrastructure and they can tweak that based on this permission set. So we've set those permissions. And of course, as I said, you could go into storage and networking as well. Um, and then let's choose which tags we want these permissions to be applied to. And as I said, you can apply these permissions to more than one tag, but let's just use this for database. And then the second thing or final thing we need to do is um, add grantees. Now, these are the people who will receive these permissions. And then I'll show you how those resources will then appear in their account. So again, for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to use Patrick, my co-founder, who will pretend is a database administrator for today. Um, and I need his email address, which is there, and his UUID. Now, we've obfuscated the UUID for security reasons. So now I've got the UUID and Patrick's email address put in there. I can add that to the policy. And now that's ready. So we can actually, and I could, I could obviously share that with multiple people. Um, so let me save that access control list. 
That's now saved. If I go back, you'll see that that's, that's now issued in my account. And when we go to the uh, compute resources, you'll now see that there is uh, a tag or, or should I say an icon associated with those resources that will show that those servers are being shared. So it'll take about a minute to update. So there you go, you can see here uh, that those two servers now have this tag, this icon here, and you can read actually the, reason, the uh, role or the permissions that you've given uh, associated with those resources. Now, the final thing I want to show you is what that will look like for the receiver, um, the person at the other end with whom you've uh, shared resources. So I'm going to go ahead and log out now from my account, and then I'm going to log in as Patrick. Patrick uh, gave me a temporary password for this. So now we've uh, put in the password and the email address, we can continue. And if I sign in now to Patrick's account, um, we'll see resources in his account um, that have been shared from me. So now we're logged in, we can go to the compute section to see the servers we just shared. And as you can see here, you can see the two servers are now visible in his, his account, and um, it tells him which permissions he has, which things he's allowed to do with those servers. And one final thing to mention is that the um, tagging is recursive. So when you actually tag a resource, um, like a server, which may have drives or networking policies and other associated assets, the tagging will tag those as well. So when I added database to those, um, those two servers, you'll see that actually it's tagged database as well. And that's why he can also see those drives in his account as well as, sh as shared. Um, so that, that makes it very easy to add servers and all their associated assets. So that's it really. So he now has permission to do the things that we said he could do. So we can go into the MongoDB server, which is not a live server, it's just a demo. We can see it's running. And if I hit stop, which is one of the permissions we gave him, you see he can stop that server. So that server's now stopped. And let's say that was a system crash and he came in to recover from the system. Uh, he's the administrating the server. The server will start up and we can also do things like we mentioned the uh, open VNC command as well. So that server is now up and running. I can open the VNC tunnel. And again, this was a permission that we granted. If I um, open the VNC, we can now see that that machine is booting up and I could do some system recovery actions against it. And of course, Patrick in his own right can issue his own ACLs on infrastructure that resides in his account, not shared resources, et cetera, et cetera. So it's an extremely flexible system. You can use it for uh, sharing resources internally um, to do uh, based on people's roles and permissions. You can also use it to share resources externally. You might have a, a developer you're collaborating with that's on a contract that's working on a particular project. You could tag that project resources and then share those with the permissions you want to grant to that developer. And of course, once that project was over or the development was complete, you could just simply remove the tag from those machines or um, decommission the ACL and that developer will no longer have access to the at the infrastructure level onto those machines. So it's designed to be very simple to uh, organize and curate your infrastructure so that you can actually use this day to day and um, it, it makes it easy to keep a handle on who has permissions and who has access to what. Uh, and you can, like I said, you can manage that in a dynamic way over time and you can do that very securely. So thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy uh, this collaboration tool and as ever, happy computing.